If you want to show some information to the user, then snack bars are really great. And we want to build here different kind of snack bars. And some snack bars need to be dismissible, so the user needs to do it manually. And you can also do snack bars here at the top and also at the bottom. Let's get started here in our build method. And the first thing we like to do is to create here a button widget with a text. And then we have here this on clicked handler. And every time if we click on this button, we want to execute this method here. And inside of this method, we want to show our snack bar. And we use here for this the flush bar, which is a plugin. So make sure that you put this flush bar into your dependencies in your pubspec jaml file. And here inside, we can basically define how our snack bar should look like. After it, we call here show, and then the flush bar will be displayed in our screen. All right, let's give it some design. So first of all, I give it here some duration and it will then stay open for one second. And we can also give it some position. So we want to display it here at the top. However, you can also just put here something like bottom inside, then it will be displayed here at the bottom. For this flash bar, you can set an icon. So for example, you have an arrow message, then you want to show here this icon arrow and you can give it also a color. Then make also sure to set here this should icon pulse because then it is not animating this icon. And we also put here title inside. After it, you also have here this message property, which you also can set. And if you do this, you see we have here the title and also this hello, which is our message. And if you don't like to have a title, you can also remove it and simply show only the message. And then it looks like this. And if you want to increase here how long it should show, then you simply increase here these seconds and put your higher number inside. And now it shows you up for three seconds. If you have the snack bar open, you normally want to click on it. And therefore you have here this property on tap and simply put here your logic inside what should happen if you tap on it. And now if I tap here, it will every time print this here into our uh, console. You can also display here at the end a button and therefore you have the property main button and here you simply put a button inside with some text and also an on press handler and every time if we now go here and then you can click here and here inside you put the logic what should happen if you click on this button. You can also make the snack bar rounded, therefore you have the property border radius and here you simply put a higher value than zero inside and if you do this then you see that our snack bar is more rounded and we also have here this margin so if you want to align it more down then you can use here some margin and I will simply put here right now for top a margin of our app bar size inside so this is the size of our app bar. And then it should be displayed here under our app bar, this snack bar. And you see it is showing here. And if you like, you can also put here on the left side, on the top and on the right side, some padding. So what you can do here is to set here, for example, eight pixels to the left side, then to the top side, you add eight pixels and to the right side. And this looks then like this. So we are behind the app bar and we have also some space on the left top and right. Now let's go back to our build method and here inside you can put a button widget again inside and this time we want to create here a blurred snack bar and every time if we click on it we call here this method show blurred snack bar and here inside of this method we create again a flush bar and we also call here again the show method to display it on our screen and inside of it we want to paste here everything what we already did before so simply copy it and put it here inside and now we want to give it here some transparency and some blur effect and here you can add a blur effect and also a transparency so simply take a color and take here something with an opacity of 50% for example like we do here and if you do this, then you can hot reload and you see that we have here this transparency and it is also blurred. And if you don't like to have so much blur effect, then you simply put here a lower value inside and then you have your less blur effect inside. And you can also remove it. So simply put here a value of zero inside, for example, and then you have no blur effect inside, only the transparency. Let's also create in our build method a next button and this time we call it dismiss snack bar. So this snack bar should be dismissible by the user. And here we create again a new method for it and call again our flush bar. And this time we put here also again the basic fields inside what we did before. And now we also want to add here this dismiss direction and we set it to horizontal. Now let's look at what happens here. So we get here this snack bar 
and you see it is not hiding again because we have not set here any duration inside of this flash bar and you simply then need to dismiss it. And we have set here the dismiss direction to horizontal so the user can scroll here horizontally and dismiss it simply and then it's away. Let's also style it a bit. So we give it some background color of blue with some opacity. We give it some blur effect like we also learned before. And we also want to give it here some padding. So you can put some padding between your widgets and then it looks like this. So we have here more padding around and this looks already pretty cool. And if you don't want to have this animation here so that it takes some time, you also can put here this animation duration to zero. And now if we hot restart, you see if I click here on this button, it will appear immediately without any animation. Lastly, we create here this last button and I create here again this method. And this time we want to create a gradient snack bar. And so we simply keep here all the fields like before. And this time we also put here a background gradient inside where you can set here the Lydia gradient. And inside of it, you can set some colors. So for example, you set a red color and an orange color for this gradient. And if you now click on this one, you see that we have here red and then orange on the right side. And you can also add here some box shadows. And if you do this, then we have some shadow around our card. And here inside, we set basically a color of red, some offset and also a blur radius. And then it gives us this cool effect here. So we have the shadow more to the right and to the bottom with this offset. And if you increase here this blur radius, then it will also spread here more this red color around. Now we also want to look at how we can dismiss these snack bars programmatically. And by the way, if you want to get this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more advanced and better developer. Right now we have the problem if we click here on one of these buttons and then we click here again, then you see this will stack on top of each other and this doesn't look really great, especially if we have your multiple different snack bars. And that's what we want to change now. To dismiss here the old snack bars, we simply create our own show method. And now we simply remove here in every method the show at the end. After it, you also need to put here then our show method here around. So we put here the show method inside with the context and the flash bar. And this is what will then go here inside. And basically I did it here now for every method. So I changed here all the snack bars and put here our show method around. Here inside we also want to call the show method of this flash bar. So we call here this show method like we did before. And now we want to hide also the other flash bars which we have. And what we do therefore is to create here a new field at the top and here we want to put all of our flash bars inside so that we have registered them in here inside of our list. Back in our show method we simply take here this flash bars list which we have created at the top and we map over all of our flash bars and call every time this dismiss method and with this one the snack bar will disappear again and then we call here also this to list. And this dismiss function has some future which it returns. So we need to wait until this snack bar is dismissed. And because we have here a list of flash bars to wait for, we simply call here this await future wait. And then it will wait for all the flash bars to disappear again. And after it, we also want to call here this flash bars clear. So we want to clear this method here at the top again so that it will not have here any flash bars inside. And the last thing is also to add our new flash bar, which we show every time to this list, because then we also can later clear this flash bar again. All right, and now we can try it out. So I click here on snack bar and it will show this one. And if I click again, it will first of all make that it is disappearing with this here. It will wait until it is dismissed and then it will show the next snack bar. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!